EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for May 6, 2021. For your Thursday, we have a chance to dry out today after a little bit of rain. Actually, in some areas, a decent amount of rain uh, that came through the day uh, during the day here on uh, on Wednesday and tapered to showers during the course of the afternoon from west to east. Uh, we had some areas actually on Tuesday backtracking a day, uh, namely the uh, Luzerne and Lackawanna County areas that had some flooding problems with uh, some training storms or what was left of storms that kept training over the same areas and just pouring and pouring and pouring for, for a couple hours there and it just uh, allowed the allowed some flash flooding to occur in both Luzerne and Lackawanna counties where just that night on Tuesday evening you had some areas getting over uh, two or three inches of rain and then additional rain that happened yesterday. So we had some flooding issues up in those areas but the rest of us Generally, about a half inch or so of rain fell on on Wednesday, and then that cleared out uh, finally later in the afternoon on, on Wednesday. Now, today, we have those partly cloudy skies in its wake, so we'll have a chance to dry out temporarily. If you remember at the beginning of the week, if you watched the videos in the beginning of the week, I told you there's going to be like an every other day chance of rain this week set in some form. So mainly showers, but some form of rain every other day this week, and we'd have an in-between day. In, uh, in between every one of those systems. Well, this is one of those in-between days where you have the partly cloudy day expected in dry conditions that'll go through the overnight and then the clouds will increase very late at night. The next system is gonna be on the lead of a trough here. And this is kind of an interesting, interesting system because we have a, it's almost like an inverted trough. Matter of fact, it is a trough that's sitting over the region. It's gonna be very slow to move eastward. It's gonna start in the early afternoon hours in central PA and then just very slowly drift eastward and as it does so, it's going to weaken a little bit as you head into the evening and the overnight hours, and it's going to lose some of its punch. So central PA, or, or central PA, western counties, like uh, places like uh, Cumberland, Perry, uh, Juniata, uh, what else is out there, Center County, places out in the western portions of the coverage area could get into some showers in, on as early as early Friday afternoon, but... Uh, the rest of us will be waiting till later in the day on Friday or Friday evening to get into these showers. And then it's going to continue into the overnight. But again, just very light showers continuing the overnight. And a very thin strip as it's just right along where the area of highest lift is along that trough. And that will go into Saturday morning uh, for our eastern areas and northeastern areas where that uh, rain will still be going going as we get into Saturday morning. Uh, but you will have plenty of clouds with that uh, as well. And then you might have a few isolated showers that comes in here behind this here on uh, on Saturday. Not a lot, just a few. A few showers may be possible throughout the day, just isolated stuff throughout the day here on Saturday. Then we have our next system coming in here on Sunday, so really no break. Get a little bit of a break here later on Saturday and into Saturday night. Sunday, you have increasing clouds again. Again, some showers working into the region that's going to continue into Sunday night and maybe into Monday. And these uh, showers are going to move off uh, as we get into the afternoon on Monday. So we have some rain on here on Monday as well. And then uh, after this point, we turn part of the cloudy here on Tuesday and remain that way on Wednesday. Maybe another system coming in toward the end of next week. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, today here is the, uh, this is looking for the trough uh, on, on Friday. Just to give me an idea of what this is going to do. So this is noon on Friday. You see this very thin trough here. It's not really that elaborate, okay? As we get into 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you see it's very slowly drifting eastward. you got a decent decent rain showers out here in central PA. But as it moves eastward, it kind of loses its punch as you head in the evening. Okay, so here's 8 p.m., here's 9, here's 10, here's 11. Very, very slowly moving eastward. And this goes right into the overnight. And it kind of just doesn't fall apart, but it, it loses its punch here. You just have very light showers. This is 4 a.m. on Saturday, and you still see some showers here. And this goes all the way into... Saturday morning. Here is uh, that this ends here. Uh, this image here ends at 8 a.m. Saturday. Now I'm on the cusp here. I live. If you look at the ABE here, this is Allentown, uh, Lehigh Valley International Airport. If you go just northwest of that by about five miles, is where I live. Okay, uh, I am the dummy that decided to pull out my pool liner uh, last week because I wanted to get rid of it. I ordered a new one. It's ready to go. I have helped this Saturday to put it in. We're starting early. So I'm going to be that guy that is uh, knowing that the next couple of weeks are not going to be very warm. I'm out there putting my pool liner and hoping it doesn't rain on Saturday morning. And uh, I'm going to have to hear my wife again because she, she's this is the same. She gets, she gets, gets, gets on me about this all the time. So 
uh, you know, we have a big uh, snowstorm coming in winter, right? You know, I'll do all send all the text alerts. I'll, I'll you know, create the snow maps, do all the discussions, prepare our clients. And she says, okay, did you put gas in the snowblower? Did you find the shovels? These are the kind of, she's like, for you prepare everybody else, but you forget about us. So this is going to be another one of those things where she's going to get on my case about this because you're like, you knew that over the next 10 days, and I do, the next 10 days are not going to be warm. They're going to be cooler than average. And I'm putting a new pool liner in, which then you then have to fill, of course, and get all the wrinkles out and all that stuff. So I'm not going to be out there on Saturday when it's 58 degrees for a high in the afternoon putting in a pool liner and uh, it's not going to be warm or swimmable weather until we get to at very least Memorial Day weekend probably. It's going to be a while. Okay, I know we're going to get the 70s probably again once we get past the middle of the month, but I'm telling you right now, now through the middle of the month, it's not going to be warm at all. You're going to have temperatures stuck in the 60s and some days 50s. Like I said, Saturday here in Allentown, I'm projecting a high of 58. That's uh, obviously not warm enough to swim. She's also going to say, why did you fill it up this early? Why didn't you plan better? But whatever. Uh, it is what it is. I got to get it done. I'm just one of those people that if I have something sitting around, I have to get the liner in. It, it's something I have to do, so I just get it done and get it over with. But I'm hoping that these showers move out fast enough here on Saturday to allow me to do that. Uh, once we get past this point, again, those showers, uh, you might have a few isolated showers throughout the day, but it looks like Sunday is going to be the next chance for rain with the next system moving in on Sunday afternoon and evening. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for May 6, 2021. Have a great Thursday.